The crisis at the border is spreading across the country. States in our nation's heartland seeing an influx of immigrant children, some with no notice whatsoever. 200 illegal unaccompanied minors have been sent to Nebraska without any warning from the federal government. Governor Dave Heineman joins me now. Governor, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you brought this to the Melissa, public attention. Melissa, it's great to be with you. Thank you. Uh, and you requested information from the federal government about these children that were sent your way. We wanted to bring you back today to ask you, have you heard anything back yet? What's been the response? Uh, no, we haven't. Now, I actually made a phone call last Friday to the Office of the Health of Human Services at, at the federal level requesting this information. They kind of indicated they weren't likely to do it. So yesterday, my congressional delegation and I sent a letter to the Secretary Burwell of Health and Human Services uh, demanding to know the information. Who are these illegal, unaccompanied uh, children? Who's their sponsor? Where are you sending them? We need to know all this information uh, to protect our state to protect uh, uh, our citizens. They're not supposed to be receiving federal and state taxpayer funded benefits. How are we going to know that if we don't know their names? And, uh, you know, yeah. we're probably going to be responsible for educating these children. Who's going to pay for that? Um, they say that they are trying to protect the privacy of these children, that they're minors, they're underage, they're just protecting them. What do you think of that answer? Well, I really don't buy that. Uh, we're talking about uh, potentially illegal individuals in this country, and so they're going to get privacy protections that legal citizens don't get. Uh, we try to work with the federal government all the time on a variety of act activities. It's about cooperation, transparency, and again, my question to them is what are they hiding? Why are they afraid to give us this information? Governor, it, it, you know, they, it, they went ahead and they dumped these children in your state. What are you going to do? What's your response? How do you deal with this? Well, well, again, we're concerned about that, and I think most of America is. It's one thing to take a few, uh, but we've got a crisis at the border, thousands every single day. And again, who's going to pay for them? Uh, what's their health uh, uh, background like? Are they bringing diseases to this country? But, and but they're there now in your state. I'm sorry, Governor, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you know, we're out of time, and well, I just want to know, what, what are you going to do in response? I mean, are you going to try and send them back? Are you going to try and assimilate them? I mean, what do you do? Well, what we're going to try to do is work with the federal government. I actually agree with President Obama. He said we should expeditiously return them to the country okay. of origin. In order to do that, we need to know the, the names of these individuals. Governor, thank you so much for coming on, and, and we look forward to more updates on what's going on in this important story. Thank you. Thank An you. Another